Sorry, I don't think I have anything else to add. No. No. Goodbye. Another media vulture? I don't think I handled that one too well. Oh, I can picture Leone Coigley's face as she reads the headline. Principal cracks under strain. Don't worry about the Coigleys. Why not? Maybe this time they've got legitimate grounds for complaint. Jade was at the top of the well when the poison was splattered. If she'd been hit too... <laughs> I don't know what to say. About what? Anything. Everything. What's this? How about Unreal? Pardon? Unreal. You know. Amazing. Incredible. Incredible, yes. Where is Louisa, Titus? Well, she isn't here. I know where she is not. I would prefer to know where she is. But what about this poison and your friends? That's my fault, Louisa. But how? How is it your fault? I told you, I went through the mirror. Oh, but how would that have... Where am I? You haven't worked it out yet, have you? Hang on. There's got to be something here. It is now well past the hour. I've told you both on countless occasions, l'exactitude et la politesse de roi. Punctuality is the politeness, politeness of, of kings. kings. You were late too. What was that? Uh, 72. The answer. C equals 72. This looks like my room. It is your room. And that's Riva Creevy Thorne's house over there. Yeah? It's all part of a school now. School? Look, I know how you feel. When I went downstairs and saw all those strange people, I freaked. Sorry? Oh, yeah. Okay, that means, you know, freaked. It doesn't matter. This is all a school now. My mum's a principal. That's why we moved here. Principal what? No, she runs the place. I think things have changed a bit since your time. What do you mean, my time? I had a look in your diary when I was... I'm sorry. I mean, I know it's personal. I, I only looked at one page and... Do you want to know where you are? It's almost 100 years in the future. In future, do the calculation step by step. But why? Because that is the correct way for it to be done. Well, Louisa showed me this quick way, so you... I am the tutor, Titus. Your sister is the pupil. When she's here. Feels lovely. My mother dries my hair with a towel. Wow, but it's so long, that must take ages. It does. So why don't you get it cut? Girls are supposed to have long hair. Only boys have short hair. Not these days. See? They're a really famous band. This is all so strange, Joe. Why us? What's happening? I don't know. It's weird. And the stuff down the well, the poison, they reckon it came from your time. 
It's all too much of a coincidence. I go through the mirror to 1919, and when I get back, Mia and Jessie get splattered with poison from the same time. I mean, it has to have something to do with us. Or me, anyway. They could die, and it's all my fault. I wish I could help. You should go back. They'll be worried about you. I'm very sorry about your friends. Will you come to see me again? I don't know. I mean... After what's happened, I don't think we should risk it. I better go. Keep it. Thank you. Goodbye, Joe. Bye. Louisa, we are waiting for you. Where are you? Really, this is too much. Arnie? Have you seen Louisa? She was in her room. Well, she isn't there now. Are you sure this isn't some kind of childish game? Excuse me? I'm busy. I don't have time for games. If I find that you and Louisa That's have... Arnie and I what? Where have you been? In my room, of course. Oh. oh, yes. Most amusing. You're a little too old to be playing hide-and-seek, don't you think? I'm just going over to see Tama. Are you all right, darling? I won't be long. Joe, you've got to stop blaming yourself. Jade wasn't the only one at the top of the well. Don't. At least she's not lying in intensive care. Maybe this isn't happening. It's just a horrible nightmare and we'll wake up in a few minutes. It's time to go, kids. Hey, cheer up. We're doing all we can to help you, mates, I promise. We know. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. It's because of me going through the mirror. Joe. What? Forget about your mirror, all right? It's got nothing to do with it. In 1919, some creep dumped a drum of toxic waste down a well, that's all. I mean, someone wanted to get rid of it. Couldn't get their act together to neutralise it. Chucked it down the well, who knows? It's pathetic how little people knew about poisons back in those days. But what if we could... What? Listen, I know this sounds weird, but what if we could stop whoever it was from dumping the drum down the well in the first place? They've already done it, Joe hell of a long time ago. Yeah, but what if we could go back? If we could stop the drum from getting down the well, then it never would have been there. And if it's never been there, then none of this ever happened. Look, Joe, magic mirrors? It's just not logical. Okay, watch. Mm -hmm. 